What's up, Pookie Wookie, Cotton Swap, Badookie, Lemon Curd, Whoopies? Today it's time for the sequel of Meta, meaning we're going to play Killer with the most picked perks. After seeing a comment that played right into my card, I've picked my girl Sadako to endure this misery with. As we did in the last video, we will be playing 10 games to see how many times we can actually yeah. win. I will count me giving survivors a pity escape and Hatch as a win. Be prepared for the most mediocre killer gameplay of all time and now succumb to the silliness and enjoy the video. Best girl entity sent us to Haddonfield, meaning we have to lock in. Just kidding, it's pretty easy to force a free gen on this map, meaning that's exactly what we're going to do. Seeing a singular aura on the gen that I told to protect it, it's time to chase Stinky Steve off of it. Almost hitting our heads on the fence, we had to recover from the shock that I can in fact not jump over. Going for a big bunch here before Steven can hit us with the pallet, we secure a good old smack on the ass. The manifesting to manifest at the loop to get a speed boost is the plan. Expecting to be greeted by a pallet to my face, I instead receive a smooch. <laughs> Getting use of pain rest. Not really. Time has come to check on my beloved Freegen to be certain that it hasn't been touched by survivor's grimy and stinky yeah. hands. Hoping the gang doesn't know I fuck with them doing all the other generators, we finally start chase with Kate. Her trying to steal my eyeballs was good in theory if she wasn't necessarily in a bad position afterwards. Gladly taking the free hit, she sprints to another safe loop. <laughs> the manifestation station? Or not. Gambling here, she drops the pallet or not, I pre-manifest and win the lottery on her being a greedy little ship. Getting again no use of pain rest since we're playing the long game, we rinse and repeat checking on my precious gens. Catching Steven on my generator was exactly what I was fearing, survivors becoming conscious. Giving him a little love tap, my fingers still itch to finally use pop. Not actually wanting silly speed, I TP in hopes of finding Alan or Ash. Spotting Alan in the no healing zone, I have to arrest her for tax evasion and terrorism. The victim, uh, suspect, eluding the arrest does not make the situation better, adding another charge to her profile and almost making me shoot her. Okay, okay. <laughs> I will stop enough. Following her trying to give me a tour of the house, I almost lose her, but thankfully I didn't fumble the bag. Exiting the building, she has decided what pallet she would like to use and abuse me with. Making her think that I would take the pallet to the face like a good girl, she fought wrong, leaving her in a bad spot of needing to decide whether she wants to vault and die or vault and die. Seeing an aura with barbecue on my beloved Jen, I can waste no time. This goober is committing war crimes. Hastily TPing and rushing to my love, I see stinky boy Ash harassing my poor generator. Him staring into my soul, Meanwhile, I get some pop value was most definitely not on my list. Damn. Staring contest done and over, he decided to also give me a smooch instead of trying to get use of the palette right in front of him. Hitting his head on a tire does something I did not expect but works nonetheless since I now have the upper hand on this minuscule loop. Originally wanting to go for Ellen here, we have Specimen Steve begging like the dog he is for our attention, so we shall give it to him. As it turns out, he has just given up on life and really, really wanted to let us know. Giving little stinky boy a break to recover his weary head, we commit our cheeks to Kate. Same old manifestation and demanifestation game we're playing here, her somewhat failed attempt to make us dizzy did kind of work. In consequences of that, she is now able to feed us this yummy, delicious palate. Just acting like Steve isn't here, since he isn't in the right state of mind, we continue trying to eat every single piece of wood on this map. Pretending like we didn't see Katie Boom miss her blind, we check on the unstable individual that clearly still needs some recovery time. Back to checking on my free gen, we make certain to decimate all their progress. Starting our favorite game? You probably already know what I'm talking about. No, no, no. The manifestation station? Nobody asked. It's time to punish these criminals. Having no idea what these people are trying to do at this point, we get a free hit as a result of their tomfoolery. Ash choosing to stay at this pad was interesting but absolutely not surprising. Making him play the guessing game and catching up, we force another delectable palette. Successfully gouging our eyes out, he makes sure to run the unsafest loops known to mankind. Giving him the classic shiggy wiggy back and forth, Ratchet Boy did not follow the social distancing rules leading to his imminent death. Catching sight of Miss Ellen Ripley being in the nono zone with barbecue, we promptly TP to ensure her not touching my gens furthermore. Assuring myself that the generator is still regressing, we proceed to hunt Stinky Max Stank Eleanor that fixed throwing this pallet. Flinging herself out of the window to finally touch grass, I yet again pre-manifest for no reason. Taking the pallet to the face with pleasure, she finally makes her way to the house again, trying to get me away from my dearest free gen. Not today, Satan! Skedaddling back, we locate Mr. Williams catching an additional charge of Gen exasperation. Opening the chase with a slap on the cheekage, we subsequently to that outplay ourselves without the knowledge of Ash just holding his W key vigorously. Remember, doing less is sometimes more. 
Sadly, he didn't double you hard enough, inducing his downfall. Lucky for him, Miss Ma'am Kate was ready to save his remains at any given time, granting him a second chance at life. Reuniting Ash with his favorite piece of wood, he yet again falls for my dumbass shenanigans. This time, Kate was not here to save him, guaranteeing his extinction. Making sure the MVP of this game, aka Pop, gets another time to shine, we have to put an end to this misery of generator abuse. Regaining consciousness after wandering around, my brain does in fact not feel satisfied, so we nimble back to the generator they've been trying to so desperately finish. Crossing paths with Stinky Steve that we're just going to ignore right here, we interrupt Catherine the second and force her of my treasure gen. <laughs> Dropping the palette and trying to hide under my dress was probably not the play, but who am I to talk? <laughs> Assuring that Steven understood to not do this generator, we begin the witch hunt for Catherine. Playing the demanifestation game, we catch her inside the house, camping a pallet and sprinting for the nearest window. Hello. Ignoring the judgmental eyes of Stinker here, we continue to chase as per usual. Them obliterating every pallet earlier and creating a dead zone makes things a lot easier. Steroid Steve attempting to save Kate before the people was a vain endeavor to delay her public execution. Being stipulated to put down the royal dog that got a little too confident in me not killing him, we shall not adjure the martyrdom of Lady Katrina any longer. Questioning if Steve gets to see another day, I get disturbed by a pesky little noise that I cannot ignore. Silly little Kate fleeing from her execution and trying to save Steve was not what I expected but nevertheless works out. Fooling her by faking the pickup, she comes running at me like I'm her mom, ending with her being bound another time. Sleep. Graciously hooking Steve to give him another chance at misery, I dedicate all my attention to Kate since I expect to be hit by DS. Surprisingly, she was an amicable citizen, meaning we were not shanked in the back. Making sure to deprive Steven of attention on site, we devote our behinds to Ellen. Being a bit befuddled and flabbergasted, my neurons activated again and realized that I was actually in chase. Yeah. Ensuing the hit, we got Sir Harrington threw himself in front of the prosecuted person yet again. No! At this point, his chivalrous acts for the public have convinced me to grant mercy for the both of them taking into account that they fell victim to my free gen silliness after all. These are only things Steve maids are capable of doing or super silly goobers. Nonetheless, ending with one last that being my first killer game in months and nine wins, it's safe to say that forcing these perks every game will indeed make you win, lose your soul in sanity simply by how boring it is to play with and against. If this is how you truly enjoy the game, then so be it, but have fun. Try some new builds, maybe. Take a shower, I don't know. Other than maybe getting unlucky with the Scorch Hook spawns, you're getting use out of every perk without a doubt. Survivors giving up almost every match has also made things a lot easier. Enough said, enough played, and enough meta for me today, and probably for a long time. If you have any suggestions for fun builds that you want me to use, you can let me know in the comments, or don't. Any toots. Thank you so much for watching. Stay hydrated, stay slay, have a good day. Mouse down to the left and put it in with extra for the uh Read up Oka Give Chief Hit by a skill for the chicken last minute uh Mercy Orva Ride with Jemma to the most